Today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Dynamics RMS and what it can do for your store. Uh, it, Microsoft Dynamics RMS is the all-in-one solution for all your inventory purchasing and selling needs. Uh, it is also uh, PCI certified and has been a great uh, retail point of sale software for you know well over 10 years. So let's take a look at uh, the point of sale and see how easy it is to make a sale. All right, now I'm going to show you how to ring up an item. It can be very simple. Uh, you can look up an item. You can as well scan uh, your products in. Uh, once you've got everything they're purchasing, you pull up the tender screen and uh, select their method of payment, and it's that easy. You can uh, the cashier can apply discounts, and you can set up quantity discounts to. Uh, as customers buy uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, products at once. Uh, the system also lets you uh, reconcile the drawer at the end of the day or during a shift change. Uh, this can be done at the cashier level or by the manager. And keeps uh, a lot of, you know, keeps track of all your uh, journals, journal entries. And so if there is an issue, it's very simple to uh, pull that information up. And, and that's all contained under the journal. And this brings up the receipt, a copy of the receipt, and you can reprint that at any time. That information is stored in there for forever, so uh, you can you can go back as far as you need to. Uh, the system does let you put uh, transactions on hold. You can suspend transactions uh, if somebody has to run back out to their car, whatever it may be. Um, it also does customer tracking and creating new customers at the point of sale, which allows to keep track of their sales history and when's the last time they were here, how much they've saved in uh, discounts, and you can send out uh, promotional items and mailers uh, with a few clicks of some reports in the uh, Office PC. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at the manager and look at the reporting and uh, purchase order capabilities. And manager, uh, this is where, of course, you uh, you manage all your items. And when going to the properties of an item, you can see that there are several tabs uh, with a lot of information. Uh, not all of it's required, but um, you know you have uh, tons of uh, alternate lookup codes, substitutes. If you're out of stock, the cashier can look at uh, you know similar items that they may not know are similar items. Uh, keeps up with your your price and your your uh, cost, uh, which is uh, in most cases a weighted average. Uh, every item is grouped by departments and categories, so you can run a lot of reports. And pretty much any information that you want uh, about an item, uh, you have a place to put it. Uh, you keep up with all your cashiers and their security privileges. The system allows you to set security up uh, through every box, window, checkbox in the entire system so you can get extremely complex on on what cashiers can and cannot do and or you can uh, it's got a set of simple rules um, that you can set and not spend hours configuring security the uh, the items are contained within departments and categories uh, sub departments are essentially your categories and this allows for a lot of reporting uh, RMS does offer uh, very robust reporting which allows you to filter uh, your you have the ability to filter dates departments items prices uh, uh, reason codes for uh, discounts and just about anything once you run this report, you also have the ability to move these columns around and kind of personalize it to what you want to see. And you could actually save these reports in a memorized fashion so you don't have to do it every single time. And it saves a lot of time uh, when you build a set of reports for yourself. And uh, the reports are grouped in several different categories, uh, items, which are going to give you price and quantity and value. Uh, movement history, you can see what items are moving, what items are not moving. Uh, a lot of useful information when it comes to um, ordering and uh, promotions. You have uh, a lot of top performer reports that do give you statistics of, of your items or your sales and 
you can target particular items based on this information. You also have your um, your quotes and orders. You can uh, look at your purchase orders, keep track of what's been paid, what hasn't, uh, what uh, purchase orders are are on back order or whatever it may be, uh, at a just a couple clicks. Now with uh, with purchase orders. You have a lot of information uh, when, as you add items to the purchase order, uh, you have a this order guidance, and which kind of gives you information based on what item you have selected. Shows you their last cost and the movement history of the item. You can see that. Um, you know, for the last week, month, or year, you can see that this item is picking up in sales or not picking up at all, so you can make better decisions and order the correct amount of items, and so you don't overstock or understock um, on your shelves. Uh, this also shows you all the, the last uh, three POs, which you can see maybe a uh, cost trend, maybe it's going up, going down, maybe you need to decide that uh, you need to purchase more now before the cost gets even higher. And the purchase order also will uh, take any kind of uh, taxes or shipping fees and distribute that equally across all the items based on your value so you don't have to manually calculate that information in. The system also allows you to do a transfer out, which is essentially like a PO, but you can send product back to the supplier. So if you're getting a credit uh, for a particular product uh, or a replacement, you can send that back to them and keep a paper trail of everything that's in the system. Uh, most all information and anything that happens in the system, there is a report or some paper trail to keep track of who's doing what. Therefore, if there are discrepancies it's easy to uh, track and find out uh, where the issue was. Uh, the system does allow for uh, label printing uh, which of course uh, you can print uh, shelf tags, uh, price tags, uh, your own barcodes so if, if you have products that don't don't have uh, manufacturer codes or you want to put the pricing on them uh, you can print those out. Um, you do have the ability to create your own labels through a label wizard um, or we can pre-configure one for you and we have a label printer that will spit those out uh, uh, rather quickly. The inventory control, uh, other than your purchase orders, you've got your physical inventory. The physical inventory allows you to go around and, and, and count uh, whether it be the entire store or a department uh, or a category or just you know some small spot checks throughout the day. And this will show you what you've uh, counted and compare it to what the system thinks you have and gives you a discrepancy report so you can see if there are any major issues that uh, you need to look at and with some possible shrinkage. And so let's, uh, under the physical inventory, uh, you do also have the ability to import. Uh, we have scanners available that you can rent and go around and count your inventory makes uh, counting uh, much quicker and it will uh, import into these count sheets and save you uh, a ton of time. And as you import your uh, quantities it's going to uh, go through and calculate your inventory and then you can make your adjustments. So, uh, you know, it's it's kind of nice that if you see that uh, you uh, you counted only a few, but the, the the system says you have way more in stock. Then obviously, in, in a lot of cases, maybe a case was missed or something. You can go back and correct that, and then the system will eventually uh, update uh, your inventory to reflect the new changes, so you can keep a uh, clear and accurate inventory. After you've calculated your inventory, this is going to show you your discrepancy report and, and tell you where you're having some issues so it can be corrected. Um, this does give you the ability, um, as stated, to go back and make the adjustments and until you get this list uh, to an acceptable number. And, and this will stay in there forever. You can always go back and reference any kind of losses or, or uh, shrinkage that may be in your store.
and you can count as often as needed.